Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Discorderly Podcast, uh, episode number 12. Oh, yeah. big numbers here. <laughs> one, two. The big one, two, man. I remember when I was one, two. I, I should have left at three. For this <laughs> very special number, we brought a guest on. If, you, if you're a fan of the channel, you know who they are. It's Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. I love Jeremy. Dude, oh my what's God. Up? it's so good to be a guest here on wow. the Discordly podcast. Jeremy. Heard a lot about it. Yeah. Huh. Did you now hear good things or bad things? Man to get. <laughs> I, I heard some fucking awful things about it. <laughs> <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> I'd like to be on full time. <laughs> good launching pad, though. <laughs> but all yeah, right. I heard this where I heard this where a fellow named Ordinary Sausage got his big break, so I'm here to <laughs> follow in his footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> but but all right guys we um we have a guest uh episode number 12 we have jello the fellow uh twitch streamer extraordinaire oh there he is frequent frequent collaborator he's the guy you know yeah, local heart the guy who goes Lark- on local local heart so, throb. so yeah, jello the fellow go ahead and introduce yourself my name is jello or johan or last name the fellow Jello fellow yeah, the fellow. Uh, I'm mainly on Twitch. And That's if you want to get technical, if you want yeah, to get technical, we're on Twitch. Jello That's the fellow. That's about it. If you want the full name, Jello the Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> that, that's a good name. Yeah, I like that name. Thank you. You know. Thank you. Yeah. But all right, no, nothing's changed here. We're all pals. We're gonna get right into it with that lovely, lovely BuzzFeed quiz I've sent to all three of you. Okay, here we go. Let's open my, uh, so my Mac. I am going to do here. awful at this. Let's go. Prompt so this titillated. quiz, someone go ahead and read that name for me. In our quest to find the ever <clears throat> the ever most shittiest BuzzFeed quiz known to man, John has prov- provided us with this piece of work. I had my mom try to describe 17 famous movies. How many can you name? I love movies. I watch them all the time. But my mom doesn't. I thought it'd be funny to see how well she'd be able to describe some very famous movies. Can you guess what movie she's trying to describe? Good luck. Can, we, I can I read the first one? I cannot, Spencer Outhouse. I cannot. I... Spencer Outhouse's mom. A rock. Yeah, can, yeah, can you, Spencer Outhouse. What's your mom doing? What's your mom doing these days, Spencer? <laughs> can I read the yeah. first one? Tell it. You hit me are up. more right than ahead. welcome oh to read the first Please. one. Go right ahead, Gilbert. It's one of those animated films, man. I don't know. Uh, outer space with monsters and a galaxy far, far away. I said far away, but you know, whatever. Yeah, well, well, it's animated. Is it? St- I, I'm gonna. I like Star Wars, animated. right? It would. It would have. I was. To I was gonna put Star Wars, but no, she no, said no, 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 no. You guys are all yeah. idiots. This she is put Monsters animated. This is Monster Inc. Specifically, the second one. <laughs> oh yes, the one where they're in college. The one where they go to college, mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what movie is this? Monsters, Inc. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> I, I I legitimately don't know. Because, yeah, I thought it was Star Wars. Yeah, but I, mean, I, I thought it could either be that or... or uh, I, I, I have a different Grains answer. Of the Galaxy. What's your, what's your, what's your different answer? I'm putting, Le- I'm putting Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I'm going to put Star Wars anyway. I'm going to put... <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm gonna put Beauty and the Beast. If you, <laughs> of the Galaxy. you have to, you have to get it right, or you can give up. No, I'm just, hitting the give just, up on. Just give I'm up, guessing yeah. once and giving yeah. up. Oh. I'm sorry. What? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God. Hey, uh, Kelvin, what's the actual answer, bud? It's Avatar. <laughs> How is it All Avatar? Right. How is it Avatar? <laughs> that's animated. I mean, it is, but that's it's animated. live action. It is in space. Monsters. And, I mean, that's a little. I mean, to, to really how you look at it is what determines if if that's an accurate description. I'm gonna have a stroke. Really, like a race do the uh, do the avatar uh, do the avatar quiz that uh, or challenge that somebody made up and see if you can name two characters from Avatar. Oh no! <laughs> any, any two characters in the movie, the James entire and, movie. James and Cameron. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got it, man. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. Next one. One Next one was Here. not Navi, right? Or Navi? Yeah, that's the race. No, I ah. thought th- I thought you were talking about the that little thing that flies around near Link all the time and annoys him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, yeah she Princess had a, Peach. She had a guest cameo. 
Oh, but uh, all, all right. right, I'll go. I'll We're go. Going Henry, second one. The second go for one. it. Yeah, go, go. yeah, it's about a man who has dreams of from a young boy creating a um, fun place for other people to enjoy um, entertainment and circus acts that they wouldn't otherwise be able to see, and his dreams come true. Have you ever had a dream that you could, you would, you could, do, <laughs> you would do it? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, it's about this sounds Adam good. Sandler. <laughs> yeah, this is this is eight crazy nights. Oh, I know, <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> not that one. No, it's, it's not Huey Dumbo. Halloween. No. Nope. Oh, uh, what? The? Oh, well, yeah, entertainment and circus acts. This very well could be Dumbo. It's not. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Beauty and the Beast. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm I was gonna wrong. Go. <laughs> is that good? Mm. Nope. I don't think I'm gonna get any of these right. Oh, I don't think I'm we're so stupid. Right. I gave up. It's Wait, don't tell me. Oh, I gave up. I ne- I never even sorry, watched this what? movie. Jello, what is it? I'm guessing bedtime stories. No, god damn it. Oh, it's Hubie Halloween. Yeah, it's the greatest show. Hubie. How's the greatest showman? I'm sorry, what? I've never this even was, watched that. Back to that. His, the greatest this... showman is about a boy who has dreams of from a young boy creating a um fun place for other people to enjoy um entertainment and circus acts the that they wouldn't otherwise that? be able to see, and his dreams come true. Yeah. The fun thing about this is that he was a real man and had a real circus, and this was sort of real. Thank you, Hugh Jackman. Who Jackman? <laughs> Who Jackman? Thank you, 20th Century Fox. All right, All right I got this one. Love I that. got this one. Good. Oh, I love this movie. All right, it's popular. She's seen okay. it. Okay. Okay. He's that already. <laughs> it takes place years ago. It's about women, uh, young women of color, who were not able to. Well, they weren't looked at as important people in the workforce. And then they help out and get recognized for the good work they've done. Uh, um, 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 this is, it, is it that, that one NASA one? movie? That's what I'm thinking of. Wait. Uh, like woman, like. Um, I'm thinking. Okay, no. I forgot no. what it's called. I watched Hidden this movie. Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures. And this is a really good movie, geez. and I'm probably wrong. But if you guys have ever seen The Help, no. I don't nope. think it's The Help. Oh, I think Jello probably. got it. I got it. Oh damn it! I forgot the name of this movie. It's the NASA movie, right? Oh, I've never seen it. Keep your secrets. You keep your secrets. You let you let secrets. these fools trod trod their way through the mud. <laughs> it isn't Beauty you and the Beast, guys. You have to suffer just like I had. <laughs> it isn't Beauty and the Beast. That, that it was isn't my Beauty one and the Beast. I'm sorry. <laughs> close. <laughs> close. It's <laughs> hidden figures. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. Forgot the name. Holy shit. Je- Jello, you can read the yeah. next yeah, one. Yeah, next one. All right. It's about fighting where people don't discuss where they're going. They just, like, gather together and people bet money on the winner or the loser. All right. So I think I, I actually that. know we what know this, this one is. We all know so, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. B E A U T Y. There we and go. The oh. Okay. Got it. Yeah, that one was easy. Yes, sir. Fight Club. Yeah, I love, love Nemo. Fight. I love Nemo. Is that what you said? <laughs> I love... Dude, Dory was my favorite character. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we're remembering this movie differently. Remember when Dory shot her head off? That was cool. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. When, when, Dory, g- when Dory gave the pelican the underhook suplex, that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> when the Undertaker showed up, I knew what was going on. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. All we're right. coming back around full circle. Kelvin, Kelvin, you're up. Go ahead. Right. Oh, I can't remember the name of the actor, but it's a scary movie. He's like an axe murderer or something. That's all I know. <laughs> this this oh. could well, very well be Halloween or some shit. Or he doesn't. No, not ha- all right. Halloween. He wasn't an axe murderer. No. Well, Wait, are we only guessing once or are we guessing multiple times? You can guess I'm just. Times. I've just I been don't guessing care. one. <laughs> oh, I know <laughs> what this is. Oh my god, I, I see the answer, and yeah, it's... Yeah. Up. Oh, it's up? <laughs> yeah, it's up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Everybody remembers the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wait, for I fuck's sake. Was scream or yeah, he's I know, not right? even an I, axe murderer. Yeah. He he's not an crazy. axe murderer, he just has an yeah. axe. <laughs> yeah, he just went nuts. <laughs> oh god. Christ. Jonathan. Alright. Mm. Oh, that's a cute movie. It's a young couple who don't like each other in the beginning. They met at college. They spent time together, and they decide that they do like each other, and they become a couple. I love that movie. Here we fucking go. This is the uh, one, baby. 
What the Ooh. hell is this? Monsters Inc., right? <laughs> no, Beauty and the Beast, idiot. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, Damn it, I'm wrong. Is this, um... I've literally uh, never seen this movie. Uh -huh. Look at this come out. Is this Ryan Gosling? No. I know the I movie. I have no idea what this is. All right. Oh, yeah, here's your, here's your only here's your hint. Here's your hint. It came out in 1989. I know what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, is it John, animated or live action? No, John, you probably never watched this. <laughs> yeah, it's Avatar. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a rom com. Uh, gotta love them. Uh, I probably have seen it because I've seen a lot of older movies. Ooh, but, uh, with sweet, sweet Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan. Huh? Mike Wazowski and Cri Meg Ryan. Yeah, it stars <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Soli yeah. and Meg Ryan. <laughs> Soli. Yeah. No, it's, it's actually, it is the guy who played Mike Wazowski. Yeah, so it's a rom-com. I thought that was, was that? I thought that was John Goodman. No, wait, no, 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 no that was Soli. Never mind, I'm yeah, sorry, was, you're right. Wait, okay, it's a rom-com. Mm -hmm. yep. Wait, did you guys all get it? Yeah. No, no I guess Beauty and the Beast. I got it. <laughs> I guessed up. I, I watched this movie <laughs> recently, so. Uh, um, I'm if if it's I'm gonna put a movie. guess in. <laughs> what are you guessing? Uh, what I'm thinking is it's a little it's a little bit in left field, but um, I'm gonna Silver say SpongeBob Lime SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottoms. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You <laughs> I think got you got it. it. That's my it. My favorite. Oh, uh, when Harry met Sally. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love that movie. <clears throat> yeah, love that movie. Right. My favorite. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Man, the music just plays in my head. It scares you to be in the water. It's about a big shark that um That's all is need. out to get these people who are um also trying to kill the shark so the town can be safe for other swimmers. Got it. Mm. Nemo. I already got it. Yep. Yeah, finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you watching shark Finding Nemo, <laughs> starring starring we Will, Smith? Shark for Will Smith. Will Smith. We yes, watch Shark please. Tale for DVD because it's so funny yes. and garbage. Um. The, imagine you were watching Finding Nemo, and it just cuts to a scene of a shark just getting obliterated by harpoons. <laughs> Smile, you son what of a... What was the name of the shark in Finding Nemo? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just really obliterating this memory of us. Oh All right. god. Alright, yeah. It's Jello, what's up? Here, you get, here, you get an especially long one. Good luck. Yeah, yeah thanks, with Jody yeah, Foster. That. Let's gonna really see how my dyslexia is popping out. I can see the guy's face. I just don't remember his name. But Jody Foster is in it. It's about a man who... Um, is a person who, oh gosh, who is this guy? Oh, I remember now. He attracts young women and keeps them captive and doesn't give them food to eat so he can shrink their bodies. He takes their skin and makes it another body out of the skins of all these female victims. We know this. What okay. the fuck? This was the teacup from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> chip, specifically, that one. Was it Chip? He, he grew up to be a sick bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I literally haven't seen this. I, I haven't seen any of these movies, by the way. You haven't seen this movie? I don't watch I, movies. I probably, I probably have seen. I probably, I haven't given up yet, but I probably. Oh, have seen Jeremy, it. you watch it. movies. I thought it was Steve Boy's <laughs> Creek. Yeah, you watch real. Movies. I only watch. I only watch pristine works of art. In <laughs> On DVD. I actually seen that movie. <laughs> like Velocipaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Fire Fun Fury. No, I, as, hey, as, as Hannibal Lecter. Le 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 love him. Yes, it's back around to Kelvin. Oh, I guess I'll just give up on this. Oh, okay. I know oh, you didn't get it. Yeah, <laughs> Science right. of the Lions. Yeah, I never watched that one. Same. Um, Come on, guys. Okay. It has Clark Gable in it. Ah, yes. And Gable, I don't remember Clark the Gable. woman, but it's during wartime, and she has to save... Oh, the plantation. I thought it said plutonium. I thought it said plankton. <laughs> <laughs> so it can live on. She falls in love with Clark Gable, but I guess she has a lot of issues, and he finally decides it's not worth it. Damn, that's sad. Um, yeah. I can hard and, relate. This I don't know any life. Clark Gable I am movie, Clark Gable. So. It's, a, uh, uh, it's a pass for me. Clark that's Gable's the guy who's Superman, right? I'll let you guys yeah. know it's not the boy in the striped pajamas. The boy in the striped pajamas. I'm gonna guess... <laughs> Uh, a S D F G H J K L. Mm. I got, I got it right. I'm gonna guess wow, W A S D. Jeremy, mm. um, you John, you're a movie man. You're the only one. You're, you're. I know. I'm a movie guy, but I don't know this. I don't even know who Clark Gable is. Um, Clark Gable. He's I'm, the guy from the. Oh, you're, back in you're the gonna day, be kind of 50s. upset. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very classic. 
Um, Wait. I think I know hints? this movie. You want some yeah. hints? No, you, you do. You do. You do. For sure. Damn. Damn. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to give up because I think I know. Oh, no. I've never seen that. I don't 19... want movies that old. 1939. I thought that's it was Casablanca. A, that's a four fucking hour movie? What the fuck? Four? Yeah, that's why I don't watch movies that old. Okay, <laughs> on to the next one. Oh, God. Let's go. Cool. It's an animated film with Ed Asner. I only remember seeing a small clip where he is in a home with another young animated figure. And I guess, I'm not sure if they dream it that the house is floating. Right. Shrek! It's your oh, day, Shrek. Shrek. Shrek! It's your day! Yes! <laughs> As soon as That's I saw Ed Asner. About that film. <laughs> great. But they probably just see the world from above and it gives them a different impression of people and things. Uh, Jaws. Finding Nemo. Jaws, that's <laughs> it. You got it, dude. All yeah, you need to do is that watch that first 10 minutes. For real. The, the, the thing I said about, on, on, a, on a real note, the thing I said about Up and Why It's Such a Good Movie and why, how it proves it's a good movie is that it makes you care about a character that you only have like maybe five minutes of screen time with in the first bit of the movie. The yeah. wife. Yeah, guys. Ellie. Charming, That's sure a whole is. ten minutes right there. Yeah, and then it makes you care teams. just to kill it. That's what I do with every one of my YouTube videos: is I make people care about me within the first thirty seconds, and then I die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For months. And then you die on camera. Yeah. Until <laughs> so you, so you feel like editing again or need a job. Very do you guys Everyone know that if you die on stream, you die in real life? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. There's Christ. this movie. For real. There's this movie. Um, actually, based around if you die in a video game, yeah, you die in real it was, life. It was. Oh, oh stay, alive. It's, it's stay, alive. Mo- stay alive. Stay alive. Horrible. Stay alive. Stay alive. That's what it it's, was called. No, here, fun fact: it's Disney's only horror film. That's a Disney movie. Yes. <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Yeah, and actually, if you buy the, if you bought the the disc for it, it comes with the game. No fucking way. No, it doesn't. Yeah. John. Don't that lie. Is, yeah. What the hell? You're lying. Yeah, 10% it, on it, Rotten no, Tomatoes. In the, features, in the features, it has a game. 5 out of I 10 on IMDb. It. That's the first movie I ever saw with a disc. Jesus. And then Trek. We got to watch that movie for DVD. That's great. We can we do. watch the can we can we also watch the uh the like the 2006 uh Version of Doom because that one's garbage. Yeah, that was so with garbage Dwayne? and I love it. With Dwayne the yeah, Dwayne with Dwayne. Dwayne. Yeah. With Dwayne, Dwayne the Boulder. Dwayne. With with Dwalk the Rock. <laughs> Dwalk the Walk. <laughs> All right, who's who's turn? Right, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It's me, go. right? Is it you? Yeah. John, you just you just went right. Yeah, it's you. All it's right, you. Cool. All right, you it's with Tom Hanks. He's a kind young man who goes about life in Got simple it. ways, and good things always seem to happen. Uh, and he sees the best of people in situations. The Chocolate Movie. It's yeah. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Willy Wonka, yeah, absolutely. That's what I was thinking. Sorry, the superior Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You know what's uh, really screwed yeah, up? His, I can't his remember famous what this... line from that movie is, uh, you know, you lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I know this one. Hold on. Tom Hanks, he sees good pe- things in people. Makes about, this is Saul. Oh, Two, Saul. Saul. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite line, by the way, from... Um, from from <laughs> from Forrest Gump, uh, it's uh, I took your fucking house and I put it in the middle of my factory, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about how uh, Uncle uh, Grandpa Joe is a piece of shit? Oh yeah, he walked, yes, he, he is. Walked yeah, dimes, on both dude. movies, in both I, movies, they made him a sack of garbage. Yeah, if we can all yeah. get together for the Grandpa Joe Hate Club, it convenes at my house <laughs> at 7 p.m. every Saturday. <laughs> All right, Jello, on to the next one. Yeah, on to the next one. One of my favorites. It's about a man who gets accused of a crime that I don't believe he committed, and he's put in in prison. This is her believing he didn't commit it. Uh, He works the system and then figures out a way to escape and brings the other police officers to the crimes that they've committed. His friend is in uh, his friend in jail when he gets released knows where to find this man and then his life is happy again. I know this but I don't what? know the name. I know this but I don't remember the name of this film. Mm. It's so it obvious. I don't want to I don't want to spoil it for you but it's uh Ant Bully. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I know this cuz I've seen the ending. Oh my god, I- Jeremy. It's, I never it's, watched it's this movie, fucking, but I got it. It's got fucking Morgan Freeman in it, doesn't it? It does, yes. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know the name of it. I'm gonna have to look it. I'll give up. No, yeah, yeah. Give me a gotcha. Of Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Gone. Girl. Yeah. Gone with the Wind, Part Two. Yeah. Gone with the Girl. 
Gone, gone with, with the, the wind, girl. part two. Goner. <laughs> She's a goner. <laughs> uh, we it's are my back turn. to you, Kelvin. Yeah. Go on. Meryl Streep is the editor of a fashion house or magazine. And she's nasty to all her employees. Then a young employee becomes her right hand man and helps wow. her through the season of fashion and the magazine lives on. I know what this is. I think I know what this is. I I I do too, but I I got it wrong. Got it. God, I got it right. Um, I've literally never seen this movie, but I but I kind of just pieced it. Let me together. guess. Is it is it is it's it Beauty Gravity the starring Sandra Bullock? <laughs> no, it's a quiet place. It's uh, Alien. I've watched this movie <laughs> several times, Wiener. but I have no idea what the hell the title was. I've never seen it. I haven't seen it's about a devil. Movies, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's ah. a si- it's a sick metalcore band. <laughs> 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 That's not a it's joke. My, it's <laughs> my, is it actually? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Look, spot by that bitch right now. They're fucking I was, great. I was gonna say it's my it's my favorite Panic of the Disco song, but it's not a Panic of the Disco song. But it could be. It's not a wow. Panic the Disco song. I can't believe it. They can't. Are they they fucking the phenomenal. Title? Are they on they the Velocipaster soundtrack? I wish they were on the Velocipaster oh, soundtrack. Yo, no, did you not, listen to that soundtrack? It's so I did. Good. It's fucking that soundtrack sick. Is fucking bop. Jesus Christ. It's sick. Jesus. Je- Jello, someone tells me you're gonna give up. Hmm? Hmm? What? Someone tells <laughs> me you're gonna give up. up. I'm always prepared. He wants you to quit. Alright, well, what is it? That way, there's no competition on Twitch. What if I What if I give you the alternate title and you figure it out? <laughs> Go. Are you being the opposite? <laughs> what the hell are we talking the, about? The alternate title, yeah. Okay, so it's not it's not the Devil Wears Gucci. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's awful. <laughs> you, you see the thing, John, with this, right? Is I already gave up on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, he already yeah. got it. I can tell All on right, his face. Well, I already got it by giving it up. <laughs> All right, we are wrapping back around. We are... Wait, no, we already did. John, it's you, right? No, it's... Wait. Wait. It's John. Oh, yeah. That's right. I don't remember her name, but the upper-class female meets the guy. I don't remember his name. I thought he was a musician. Maybe he's not. I guess they meet, fall in love, the ship goes down, and they go down together. Finding Nemo. I love that movie. Really? I think this is Castaway. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. The, the girl that they're talking about is Wilson. <laughs> is Wilson. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, no, oh. I, I have literally nothing on this. Oh, the wait, person is on. a goddamn Do you actually know not? Is? that takes up a no, whole okay. door. I, I thought it was Titanic. It's not. Really? What? Oh, yeah. It's not. I, did I spell it wrong? Yeah. I, I, it turns out I don't know how oh to spell. God. Titanic. Wow. <laughs> sure. okay. I wish I could see how I actually spelled it as. You probably wrote Titnik. Tynick. Tynick. All right, you guys ready? Calvin, Real easy. That's right. I'm always Give ready. me the short ones. Perfect. God damn it. It's a baseball movie about a female baseball league. Madonna and Tom Hanks are in it. I already know it. Okay. Oh, I know this movie, but I can't remember the name. No fucking clue what that is. Really? Why can I not remember this? There's, there's no, no clue. There's no crying. Wrong, but I know what it is. There ain't there's no, no crying, crying in, baseball. in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. I've never I, seen this, but yes, I, I I got it right. I've never seen uh, it either. Ni- <laughs> no. 1992 movie. Jesus. Yep. It's got Gina Davis in it. No, I know the movie. I've seen it like a million times. Something leagues. I know it has that word in it. Something leagues. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah. It's ants. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's ant boy. I leave their own. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 Jello lad, you are up. I'm up. I oh, know that. Uh, by the way, it's uh it's a league of their own. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks Jeremy. That's that's what I'm in on Twitch because I play Slime Rancher. Okay, I know that's <laughs> with Oprah Winfrey. I saw the movie many years ago. It's about the life and hardships of an African American woman. Um, oh, here it is. No, I clue. don't think I've uh, literally seen a movie with Oprah no, in it. Idea. My answer is no clue. I don't think I've ever seen an Oprah movie. I forgot about this movie. I want to say, ah, oh, shit, biscuit. I've never seen it. 
I got it. I never seen it either. I didn't get it. I just gave up. You know. Mm, I've never heard of it. <laughs> I watched it. It's, it's right. based on a book. Oh, well, it wraps back around to Kelvin. Kelvin, oh, you are doing our last one, my man. The longest ones. It's our last one. She's a police officer, undercover. She goes to the pageants, and even though she doesn't like the idea in the beginning, in the end, she learns to understand different sides of people. I think they catch the crooks in the end. Oh, I think Candace Bergen is in that movie. This Ber- one's really easy. It's um, it's super it's easy. Harold it's, and it's Kumar was... take White Castle. I, <laughs> I was thinking movie. Batman and Robin. <laughs> I've never yes, heard of this. I give up. I love yeah, okay. the Harold. Can I just say I oh. love the Harold and Kumar movies? I don't know how to spell that other name. <laughs> yeah, the, it's oh, it's well if it if it's any help, it's spelled phonetically. It's exactly why you think it'd be spelled. Yeah. Miss yeah, Congeniality. Okay, yeah. well, are we all done with that one? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We sh- so um, you couldn't read my mom's thoughts. These were pretty bad descriptions, so you shouldn't feel disheartened. Don't take it personally. If anything, let's just blame. I, I got it. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yourself, I, can't, I didn't actually try. What were your scores? Seven. I had a 28, a 28%. Seven? I'm at 77. Well, How did that happen? I, I got 45%. You're at 77? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck? Yeah. Kelvin, you what a god. Did pretty well. I mean, it probably, it probably doesn't help that I guessed things like Ant Bully and Ants yeah. and Bugs uh, Life. Yeah, you, you're really the one big giveaway, dude. You're, you're the guy no. that was... Giving those away. Yeah, I I got a yeah. I got a motherfucking twenty percent. How did everyone do so differently? What the fuck? I don't I think I watch movies. Because I could spell Titanic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, that was hot garbage. That was the that was hot garbage. Yeah. It wasn't the, it wasn't the worst we've done, but it was pretty hot garbage. Yeah, and mm. I would like to say I hate their mom. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Althouse, yeah, if you mom, can buddy. if you could please write a memo along to your yeah, mom that we hate Spencer her. Spencer Althouse. Yeah, I don't like your mom. <laughs> That'd be a, um, we'd appreciate it. But give her my number. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Let me know. Yeah. John yeah. likes the cougars. I, do, I only want to talk to her so we can take constructive criticism and refine her her buzz her movie knowledge. in the future her, her yeah, exactly. show her yeah. real movies like yeah. come fury the loss of past year birdemic you know the room yeah yeah, yeah, the yeah of course. room it's only the best hulk only 2003 only yeah. the good ones oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just beautiful sure. yeah. just beautiful uh these movies that jello didn't watch with us really so cool. as of as of today i've actually got two topics that we can talk about because i've got another i've got another installment of florida man ready to go yes um and if you'd like to, we can we can do that. And we I could also uh, the game awards are coming out. If you wanted to talk video games, we could talk Ooh, about the game awards too. I like video games. I like That's video up games to you too. Guys, though. I like video games. I like video games. You want to do want to save Florida Man for later and talk about some of the categories in the, yeah, the we'll video skip, games? We'll skip Florida Man right this ahead. time. Yeah, we did it last Florida time. Man. Yeah, All right. Man. Well, we're going to talk about ass. the game awards starring Jeff Keighley, of course, our the man, the myth, the legend, sweet sweet Jeff. And we'll go over the we'll, we'll go over the we'll go over the big ones. I'm not gonna really get into some of the more obscure ones like the esports stuff. We but, uh, should make our predictions. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about our nominations here and stuff like that. Mm. I've already voted. Yeah, yeah. I've already voted in mine, so Is it I'm that ready thing to on go. Steam? Is it the thing on Steam? Yeah, uh, it's actually uh, so Steam has their own their own ah. cap, their own awards and stuff like that, where you can vote for anything. But the game mm. awards are a curated list for each category. Understood. Okay. We'll do so. I'll pull up some of these highlights and stuff like that. We'll go out. We'll go through. I'm not. We're gonna probably skip through the esports stuff because yeah, fuck esports. I, I kind of like esports. Hey, sh- <laughs> no, I, like, I like esports too. I like esports too, but they didn't let me in for the Slime Ranchers competition. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, come slime on. Ranch Con. <laughs> they said no. I don't even know what the hell that was about. Ranch Con. <laughs> yeah, they kicked. Uh, yeah. They they kicked me out of. Um, Twitch, uh, Twitch rivals for my slime ranchers competition. Something about public indecency. I don't know. Yeah, Aww. yeah. I mean, the, it John. happens to the best of us, John. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, we'll start. <laughs> we'll start off. We'll start off really easy. We have five games here lined up for best multiplayer, for okay. outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design, including co-op and M- uh, massively multiplayer experiences, irrespective. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. Wait, wait. We need a drum roll. Please, Why? please. Wait, just do the drum roll. Everyone, everyone, together, yeah, together. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Disorderly Conduct Game Awards. Featuring... Oh, you, don't you don't typically drum roll through the intro. I thought you did. 
<laughs> Anyways, I'm your host. Whatever. Anyway. What up? <laughs> yeah, I'm your host. That was just the intro. <laughs> I hope that's how the Game Awards go this year. <laughs> just, Something like that. It's just what a, dis- it's just a dis- disorganized mess of a Zoom call. We should do a special Disor- game Disorderly Awards. conduct? Should, more like disorganized special, content. We should do a special oh. watching the Game Awards. What? We should we'll do talk a special? Okay, we'll talk about it later. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Back to what I was saying. Let's let's try that again. <laughs> Best Same multiplayer game. We've got five games here for you. Five Nights at Freddy's. We've got... We, five nights. <laughs> <laughs> Ants for the PC. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yes. <laughs> oh God. All right, we got Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Oh my God. Wait, Among what, what Us. The category again. What's the category? Oh, best multiplayer. Multiplayer. Okay. Oh, I'll argue. Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Among Us. Call of Duty: Warzone. Fall Guys and Valorant. Among so Us. So it's between the first two. It's between Among the first us. two. Among Us. I think I I'm gonna say Among Us only because. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons doesn't have to be multiplayer. Among Us does. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I actually voted for Animal Crossing New Horizons, because but I wish I could. But I but I actually I can change vote. You can Bit. change. Vote. Let's fucking go. I did it. Excellent. Let's Anyways, go. Anyways, I've changed my mind. The reason I voted originally was because when it came out, it was during the pandemic, and it had a it had a pretty big impact in terms of like connection and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But Animal Crossing, the the more I think about it, it's just like. The multiplayer isn't that great. It's very, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, yeah. it's, to play it on it's your not, own, you have just as much fun. It's, it's, I mean, it's a fun game. It's just like a struggle. It's a hassle to do the multiplayer in that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's anyways. No, th- I, because I, I fully agree. You got to block off that hassle. The reason I say Among Us. Fuck with your shit. The reason mm-hmm. I say Among Us is because, I mean, obviously Warzone is, and but that's just Call of Duty, right? You know, well, I don't gonna, care. People are going to vote Warzone, but um, and what, what was there, Valorant? Where did that game go? I fucking, Valorant's you know, still pretty big. Valorant's yeah, still pretty big. big. No, no, yeah. I know, but people can only play it for the longest time be, on, through watching Twitch. I mean, and then and then what's the other one? What's the other one? Fall Guys. Which, Fall Guys. Where'd Fall that Guys go? is pretty big. Where'd that go? I like the game, but where'd it go? I I agree. You know where what? I honestly go? I've put in my I've put in my uh, I think I'm at sixty hours on Fall Guys, and I will be surprised if I touch it again. I yeah, I think yeah. I I but got my us, I got my twenty bucks out of it. How much Among was twenty bucks? Popular, it's a good thing Among I didn't had, it. Among Us had more lasting power than Fall Guys because it came well it came out two years ago, but it it, it got popular at the same time. It's had stronger staying power. It has attracted the, I mean, AOC played it. AOC played it. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's I mean, a good come point. On. Come on. That's a good point. All right. Well, I think we all agree among us. That's good. Uh, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip sports and racing. Uh, I am going to skip. I'm going to skip simulator and strategy. All right. Hey, let's, let's, what's simulator and strategy? A bunch of games that I don't think half of us have played. Yep. Okay. Uh, best simulator and strategy. Two. Also, the fact that they put these two games together. Microsoft Flight Simulator is in the same category as <laughs> Crusader Kings 3. <laughs> what? Three? Fair enough. Here's, yeah, best sim slash strategy. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Crusader Kings 3, Desperados mm-hmm. 3, Gears mm-hmm. Tactics, and XCOM mm-hmm. Chimera Squad. Mm. I voted for Microsoft Fight, Sim- Fight, Fight Simulator. <laughs> Fight Simulator, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I voted for Microsoft Flight Simulator just because of a really ambitious product, a pro- project, and it's just it's cool. They they pulled it off pretty well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Anyways, I don't mm-hmm. think we need to Planes. talk much about that. No, no, not at all. Let's talk about Sorry the best family you. game. Best family okay. game for uh, appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform. Again, Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing New, Horizons. New Horizons, Crash Bandicoot Four, Fall Guys, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, Minecraft Dungeons. And Paper Mario, the Origami King. Is is the Mario Kart oh, one the one where you have the actual car? That's the one you put in your house. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And there's a camera um, set on. I feel like that came one out, is. though, didn't it? That one just came out though, didn't it? Mm-hmm. It yeah. did just come out. Yeah. It, d- it doesn't have enough time to. Also, uh, I think uh, I can't it's, imagine it's going it's to be. Yeah. I can't imagine it's going to be that in, important of a game too because. I mean, it's, it's it's kind of like a one-time concept, you know? It's like, hey, cool. 
Here's your, cool. you know, we gave you a little RC yeah. car. You yeah. build your car. It's kind of a waste of six hundred bucks, you know. But for the next game, we're gonna go back to doing the old stuff because this isn't staying tower. Exactly. It's right, a, it's yeah. a, it's a, it's a gift you give your kids for Christmas. They play with it twice and they forget about it. And then you sell it on oh, eBay. Like battle box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. I'm definitely gonna uh, be a collector's thing. I was. I was tied. Minecraft Dungeons, honestly, I, I had a miserable time. I did not enjoy playing Minecraft Dungeons. It was not that. It was kind of lackluster for I me. I thought it yeah, was going to be cool, but it looked lame. It, was just, it, it, was just, it just felt missing something. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. The first person. Anyways, I kind of tossed this up between Fall Guys and Animal Crossing. And I think, honestly, I think for a family game, like if you were to get your family sit on a couch, you'd have the most fun playing Fall Guys. With with the whole family, so that's where my vote went. I don't need like my family to beat the shit out of me because I because I actually no, 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 like, cost them on you know, on, play, on you play slime your 15 climb. Minutes, you play your fifteen minutes, you lose, you pass the controller on, and everybody has a good time. What your vote's going to Animal Crossing? Because I you accidentally know distracted my brother while he was doing slime climb, and then he punched me in the face. I mean, that doesn't sound like a family <laughs> game to me. Look, look, this is this is coming from the idea that you don't have a dysfunctional family, John. This is kind of the idea that I have a family. True. Oh, oh, that's just God. sad. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> anyway. Continuing. Good God. Anyways, yeah, I went for Fall Guys. What about you guys? I'd say Animal Crossing. I that's fair. Animal Crossing. That's that's kind of, yeah, that's fair. What about you, Kelvin? I didn't play any of these games to actually What do you mean you didn't play here? Crash Bandicoot Kelvin 4? says Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Never misses. <laughs> oh my god, Jeremy, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was that was like, the greatest ah. freeze frame ever. God damn it. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Uh, Calvin, when yeah, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you when you edit this, please send me that picture. <laughs> <laughs> but alright, uh, what's the next category, Jeremy? We're gonna skip a couple. We're not really gonna talk about fighting games. I don't really there's not a whole lot of con uh Is there a best new in- YouTube channel? Section on there with us, our name listed four times. Content, Not at all. Oh, uh, there might, yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Uh, I, I think I think they missed the memo for us. I don't uh, know. They must not, must not gotten my email. Let's talk about. Uh, the best. I use my hot, I use my hotmail address. That's <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, they only recognize emails that are relevant in twenty twenty. We don't have a manager. Like Outlook. nobody cares about hotmail. <laughs> all right, let's talk more about best action adventure games, uh, combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. We've okay. got six to choose from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, mm. Ghost of Tsushima, mm. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, mm. Ori and the Will of the Wisps, mm. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, mm. and The Last of Us Part Two. I don't think anyone's picking mm. The Last of Us Part Two. No. I don't think anyone you said ever. puzzle solving, right? Because people are yeah. So this shit. is combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving for the category. Okay, so not Assassin's Creed for me because that just Creed. came out. I cannot put a game that just came out in there. It has not had enough staying power. I, you don't understand how this game awards work. Trust me. Back in 2016, they put PUBG as like game of the year. It hadn't even come out yet. It yes. was still in beta. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, second one was the second one. Was the second one. Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima. Which that is one, this is I I I'd, I'd, I'd probably this is where my vote went. Ghost of Tsushima is where my vote went. Fox. I'm between I'm between that and Ori, but I think yeah, Ori is yeah. fucking beautiful. Absolutely. I put mine on Ori. Yeah, Ori's just so fucking beautiful. I don't blame. But I'm, I'm gonna go with Ghost of Tsushima because I played it. <laughs> Kelvin, what do you think? I'm picking Spider Man. Spider Man. Because I'm a Spider Man fanboy and I love Miles Morales because out. it represents my yeah. race and my ethnicity. So. I like it. Look, it came out this year. Look, he's got his reasons. He yeah, played it. Fair enough. The, the, see, I have, it is, I have it a does, hate relationship with that game. It does suck for games that did just come out, like you mentioned, because a lot of times players won't have enough time to play the game and therefore vote for it, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah, how much it must suck for those game companies to release a game and automatically have it go into a game award category. Darn. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Shut up, John. <laughs> Christ. Uh, let's, we're gonna move past action and innovation and accessibility. Action, I just don't think has enough content. There's, no, I, I don't, don't know. I don't think it has anything on here. What the hell is this? Fine, whatever. Yeah. Go ahead, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Do what, what the hell is all this do, shit? We got Streets of Rage 4? Like, what? This, okay, this okay, let's bullshit. be honest. Streets of Rage 2 had the best soundtrack of any video game hell ever. Hell yeah, it did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're gonna skip okay. up. We're gonna move up a little bit to best community support. 
Recognizing okay. a game yeah. for outstanding community support, transparency and responsiveness, including inclusive of social media activity and game updates slash patches. Fall guys. For Fall guys for sure. And our six categories, our Apex, our six nominees are Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Fall Guys, Fortnite, No Man's Sky, and Valorant. And I'm immediately striking no Valorant from I this list. No Man's Sky. I picked yeah, No Man's too. Sky. I was on No Man's Sky as well. No Man's Sky, I voted for in a later category. But now I agree with you. I, I agree with you because No Man's Sky was... Like, did it, they, did, yeah. did Didn't No Man's Sky, like, originally it, it sucked ass and then... It yeah, was yeah, garbage. Oh, yeah, it now it's a pretty good game. Actually, now, like, I will say... I, I've never... I have it. I played it. I, I, I got it recently. I, I have never... I, I wanted that game so bad. I didn't get it Me because too. of the reviews. I have never had a complete turnaround on a game like that. Yeah, no, that, I will I say mean, now those updates in that, that that game like nowadays, fucking fantastic. They put some fantastic stuff in there recently. And like to date it has been the worst launch on a game I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, Fallout seventy six. Yeah, seventy six kinda. Okay, <laughs> well, you know, except for Fallout. Which I also <laughs> bought and I had a lot of fun with, I cannot lie. They've they've done a, they've improved you know? it. It's not to the point where No Man's Sky is, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. no. But I, I I mean it's one of it's like that game. It's like that thing. Oh, you can have fun with friends. Okay, I will say. Okay, I didn't vote for it, um, and I also hate it. Uh, but I will recognize that Fortnite, they've done some cool shit. The, the fucking yeah. the Travis they Scott have. concert is pretty fucking cool. The 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 the, the and I mean they. God bless their team because they do put out a patch like what once a week with new content yeah. and shit yeah. like that. But it, the only it's thing, so okay. soulless to me. Yeah, yeah. the only thing Agreed. about like the Travis, the Travis, like the Travis Scott and the Marvel and all that is is the pure fact that no one asked for it. <laughs> like no one went to Epic Games. Like what is it, Todd Sweeney? No one went to Todd Sweeney and said and said, "Hey, Todd Sweeney, do me a favor." I know you just bought three billion dollars ac- worth of acres of land to save the rainforests, <laughs> but can you please put Travis Scott in Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, it's their game, not not ours, so he can do whatever he wants with it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Once I take this hat off, Todd it's Sweeney. Me, it's me. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Shit. It's Todd Sweeney. You're, you're on Undercover oh, Boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm the only enemy. person who said anything nice about Fortnite. I get I get a raise. <laughs> We're giving you an event. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the We're next concert. We're giving you a concert. Little <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, Nas. Little Nas is coming in. Oh, debut, God. Like, we give you. We're gonna give you a Fortnite concert, and it's live, and you just stand there and. Uh, uh, uh. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming. Just, you know. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't had a ninja event, like a ninja live. I know, right? Thing. Whatever. We're not gonna talk about Tyler Blevins. Mm, the Blev. I think we name. could. I think. I think we could all skip mobile gaming. Yeah. Hey, among us, mm-hmm. Angry, no, Bo- Angry no, Birds Rio Two was really good. No, shut up, Genshin Impact. Fuck you. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Eat my socks, bro. Genshin Raid Impact Shadow Legends, is honestly, is, is very fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Are you forgetting? About Forget Dragon everything City right you now? know about mobile gaming. <laughs> I'm bro. picking among Dragon us. City. Come on. That's it. My favorite. But how could you? How could you Game ignore Pokemon Souls. Cafe Mix? Wait, is Raid Shadow anyway. Legends on there? Just no, it's it's no. it's no. Among Us, Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, Legends of Runeterra, and Pokemon Cafe Mix. Um, I could see Legends of Runeterra winning that. Genshin Impact, you gotta understand. Wait, How crazy people go. Wait, was Genshin on there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's one. Okay. Yeah, so instead okay, we're gonna go on to the next ta- category. Instead we're gonna go talk about something very near and dear to my heart, which is the best indie game for Ooh, outstanding creative Ariel. and technical achievement. In a game made outside the traditional publisher system. And we have okay. five categories. Carry on. Now, let me tell Damn, you, I am a you. S- fucking slut for Devolver. I love Ooh. Devolver. They are probably my favorite. They are probably oh, my favorite. Oh, I do uh, love those guys. Yeah, they They're are probably so my favorite studio. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Fall Guys, Hades, 
Spelunky 2, and Spiritfarer. All these are really fucking good games. Agreed, but Carry On will take it. Like, I have been following that game for so long. Love that shit so much. Um, um, uh, say them again. Uh, Carry On, Fall Guys, Hades, Spelunky 2, and Spiritfarer. Mm, here's the thing. I've only played Fall Guys. I only know what, what Fall Guys is. Yep. I know what Spelunky 2 is, but I've never played 1 or 2. Ah, uh, man. I've been following Spelunky since it's been... Uh, was, it was a free game back in 2010. <laughs> uh, I love Derek Yu and everything he does. Therefore, <laughs> that, that's where my, on a pure fan basis, I voted for Spelunky too. Yeah, fair enough. I haven't played but, any um, of these games. Well, Although Hades, sick. Hades is by the same people who did Bastion, and it's you can tell like, Bastion mm. was such a fucking good game with a great soundtrack right. and just beautiful, and they carried that over into Hades. It was very hard to vote over Hades. Mm. All right. With that being said, let's go ahead and see this. Uh, the next category is where I voted for No Man's Sky because best ongoing game mm. awarded Wait. to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. Mm. And out see, of the, the f- thing, is, I thought you were talking about the, the this category earlier for some reason. That's why I said No Man's Sky. I don't even remember the other one was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It so was, our um, cat, our best, nominees like, are social media, blah, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Which I mean, that's fair because I mean, included in the it's... included in the community support was patches mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. No Man's Sky does qualify there as well. So our five games for this are Apex Legends, Destiny Two, Call of Duty Warzone, Fortnite, No Man's Sky, and I think No Man's Sky just blows these out of the water. Yeah, Agreed. definitely, for sure. Like I Destiny Two, like Warzone out of the water. Getting two endorsements from the Disorderly Conduct channel. That's yeah. right. Hello games, please. Now people please are going to buy it. Now people are going to buy it. Sponsor yeah, absolutely. us. Absolutely. They are. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to skip over games for impact. I'm going to move on to best performance. Awarded to an individual for voice acting, motion, and or perform- performance let me, capture. Let me, get, let me guess that uh, what's his name is in there for Last of Us 2. No, no. but no. Is. no. No. Or, uh, uh, what's his, so what's we have... Ashley Johnson as Ellie in The Last of Us Part 2. That's what I meant. I love Ashley Laura Johnson. Bailey as Abby in The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah. She's, she's Kelvin, you played the game. Can you uh, can you read that for me? Uh, Because huh. <laughs> I, I don't want to butch- butcher the name. I know Jin Sake. Jin Sake in Ghost of Tsushima. Yep. Uh, and then Logan Cunningham as Hades in Hades. And uh, Najee Jeter as Miles Morales in My- Miles Morales. Damn, I love Ashley Johnson. Out of those, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, from Ghost of Shima. I'm picking Ashley. I'm the same. She's so good. Jeremy, she's, she was Jeremy. Good. See, I, I this one I was really fucking conflicted on because yeah, these are all really really good. Okay. Um, yeah, Najee uh, did a really good job being Miles, but I just my love for Ashley is just too high. Yeah, I did. I did Tsushima myself for my mm-hmm. vote. Just, it just, yeah, same. It, it was, it was very, it was all like, like you said, all kind of conglomerated. Everything was really, really fucking good. So it was a tough choice. It was a tough choice. Yeah, no, Daisuke, uh, Daisuke, Suji was really. I, I did really enjoy him, but. Let's move on. Let's uh, skip on by audio design, um, and let's move let's yeah let's do score and music well, i fucking love sc- oh go ahead jello do i was just about to say doom eternal i feel like that that warrants audio design i agree personally. i agree i do agree doom eternal had some very good audio i i'm 100 with you is it nominated mm-hmm. it is nominated yeah. What are the other choices? Now I need to know. All right, let's go. Let's talk no, about no, audio design, there, yeah. baby. Recognizing the, get that in there. recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design. We have Doom Eternal, Half-Life Alex, Ghost of Tsushima, Resident Evil 3, mm. and The Last of Us Part 2. Okay. Okay, hear me out. I'm ready. Hear me out. So, um, so I love, okay, okay. So Doom Eternal. I haven't played it. I played Doom. I haven't played Doom Eternal yet. But I'm sure it had great audio design. Okay, I love I love Ghost of Shima. <laughs> he, he's gonna be I picking Half Life or Resident Evil Three. I'm okay. Resident Evil Three. <laughs> Hear me out. Yeah. Okay. Pause. It's okay. not bad. It's not bad. It's not. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. Okay. Okay. 
Resident Evil 3. The sound, the, the, the audio design in Resident Evil 3. To take, okay, hear me out. Okay, okay. We're to hearing take. you out, John. Just, yeah, just say the words, dude. <laughs> okay, hear me out. They, they, they took, I know it's the audio, but let me get to my point. It is, they took a game that is, it, what, more than 20 years old. But rebuilt it from the this. ground up. Yeah. And re- rebuilt every single part of that game to stay true to the original, but provide a new experience. And to still have an audio design that slaps after after twenty something years. Okay. The the ambiance of, of being <laughs> of being tracked down. Okay. 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 I see no, where I you're see coming from. from. I see where you're coming from. I disagree. Uh, I mean, I, dis- <laughs> yeah, I disagree right. with your vote. Mine went to Tsushima, but however, yours is <laughs> yours is still good. No, I, I, other than that, if Resident Evil Three wasn't on there, it would have been Tsushima. But but I absolutely adored everything about Resident Evil Three. I loved that game. What's your opinion, Calvin? Um, I'm gonna give it to Ghost of Tsushima because I haven't played it, like half of these games, and last of <laughs> us sounded pretty good. Fair enough. But, um, that's fair ghost is just so gorgeous it's just so good yeah I, I will say i will say like just the nature sounds alone in ghost of tsushima like win it but but for me like for me on a personal level it's resident evil 3 but if if i had to be non-biased i'd say ghost of tsushima <laughs> well let's talk let's keep in the vein of audio and girl. let's talk <laughs> let's talk about the best score and music for outstanding music inclusive of score original song and or licensed soundtrack and this one hurt me so fucking heavy this mm-hmm. one this Dog one tore me apart rehydrated this one be. tore me apart we have doom eternal final fantasy 7 remake hades ori and the will of the wisps and the last of us part two and these are all just fucking great oh, oh i, I love acoustic ori. music these ori are all just fucking us. phenomenal yeah, ori it was between ori and doom eternal again for me ori I am, um, some of my favorite games include the Final Fantasy series, and I really, really wanted to give it to 7, and the only reason I didn't and gave it to Doom was because 7 was not, it was, it was a remastered, it was a remastered soundtrack. They sounded great, they sounded really fucking good, but they weren't completely original songs, and because of that I went with Doom, and it hurt me dearly. (laughs) Yeah. I am literally a slut for everything Doom sound related. Ooh. Fucking genius. I just I think Doom found Doom found it's like I mean there's something it's just iconic, you know? Like it if you really if you were to hear the song, you, if you were to the, hear the songs, you would know it's the, Doom. Speaking of the sound of Doom, can can someone kill me? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Coming <laughs> right up, but I'm issuing an I'm issuing Coming an orbital labor. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to issue an orbital laser to strike your house right now. <laughs> Thanks. It's because your opinion is garbage. Are we almost Kevin, at an hour? let's not forget the hotline. We are almost at an hour. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> We've done nothing. I guess this is going to be the Game Awards episode. Then we'll go to the <laughs> Game Awards episode. All right. All right. Let's talk about art direction. Okay. Uh, for oh, ca- our outstanding creative and or technical achievement in artistic design and animation. Final Fantasy mm. VII Remake, Ghost mm. of Tsushima, Hades, mm. Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and The Last mm. of Us Part Two. Is it in every fucking category? Holy shit! And honestly, I kind of, I, I kind of just disregarded The Last of Us Part Two. It's a very pretty game, but yeah. I just don't think it has a new anything new in terms of art direction. Ghost of Tsushima is I, taking the cake for me. Ghost of Tsushima. I voted Ori <laughs> for I me. Voted I voted so Ori. I, for it me. was it was close, but I've been giving Ori too many. <laughs> between Ori, <laughs> between Ori and Ghosts again, but I picked Ori as well. Mm-hmm. All right, it's just fucking beautiful. Scrolling up again, we are now going to best narrative, and this is your storytelling and narrative development in a game. Ah, and so I've heard the, of the categories: the Last of Us Two, the Last of Us Two, the Last of Us Two, the Last of Us Two. <laughs> is that what they have listed? They have they have five games, one of which I've never fucking heard. What <laughs> um, Thirteen Sentinels, Thirteen yep. Sentinels, the Aegis yes, Rim. Sir. Never heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. I'm sure, right. it's apart, fine, I'm sure. It's apart fine, from though. that, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, apart from that, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, and The Last of Us Part Two. Damn. And uh, this is where this is where I think Final Fantasy VII will win, mainly because, um, John, this kind of harkens back to what you said about the uh, Resident Evil Three. You take Final Fantasy VII, and they took basically took the first five hours of Final Fantasy VII, the original, and they made it a sixty-hour game, including Holy shit. In- 
including you know uh, new content, new but you know, basic and it st- all stays true. It's not it it all stays true pretty much to the original story and stuff like that. And so you follow the same paths, but they've just branched out further and further, and you know, giving you these backstories and further narrative. And so that's I think it's why it's going to take care take take the win. Mm-hmm. This is for narrative, right? Yep, narrative yes. and storytelling. Yep. And I mean, it is rivaled by Last of Us Part Two because, and I mean, but I think it's just too controversial, and people won't vote for Last of Us Part Two because of how mm-hmm. controversial it is. Right. I will. I mean, fuck it, I don't give a shit. I vote for Last of Us Two. I mean, that's and that and you know what? That is completely fine as well too, for the main fact that I think, I think it says, says something if you're if it is controversial, because. You make people talk. You know, if your yeah. game can make course, people yeah. talk due to its story, then I'd say that's a pretty damn good, pretty damn good story. The thing say, that I think people were expecting for Last of Us Part Two was a rehash, and you can't really rehash that because that shit would be boring. And like, you need a new story. You need something. You gotta keep it interesting. And people just don't like change. So Here, okay. here's um my pick, right? Uh, and a reason, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, is my pick. And I know I've given a lot of brownie points to Ghost of Tsushima. It's a but good game. My it is good my game. pick for this. My pick this for my pick. The reason. Um. So the Last of Us Two is a sequel. I, I agree with what you said, Kelvin. Mm. The reason I pick Ghost of Tsushima is because. Let me, guys, I'll be honest with me. I know. I know. I didn't. Who heard of Ghost of Tsushima before it came out? Who was looking forward to it? I nope. remember it being announced at uh at E3, but that's because I pay <laughs> attention to E3. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. but who was who was ready? Who was going? Who was ready to pre-order it? Yeah, who was ready I, I, to pre-order I wasn't it, going play to that pre-order. game. Who, who, was, it going? who was so ready Not to me. be a samurai? Okay, that game came out. A couple people played it. Word of mouth, right? I'm sure there was people that were excited for it, but you get the point of what I'm saying. Like it's it's almost like a Fall Guys type thing where like you're, no one knows yeah, what it is. you're you're saying and, it spread so that game well. Has, yeah, that game has worked its way. Onto clearly many categories on on a, on a game award list, just by being good. A lot of the like Last of Us Two. I mean, I'm sh- it's great. I mean, it's a good game, but is it on here? Be- is it on all these categories because it's good or because it's the Last of Us Two? No, look, yeah, because he Ghost of Tsushima is the one that's like it. There's no precursor to it. There's no previous game. So like it yeah, just it's, rose for through it to the be ashes. Its own and that's fair. Original that's, game. that's completely fair. I I I I respect your reasoning. Thanks. I appreciate it. Excellent. Let's move up another category and let's talk about best game direction. Awarded for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. This is basically oh, just like yeah, the, best game direction. This one was this one was pretty fucking easy for me. I'm not gonna lie. God. Best game uh, direction. I'm yeah, tw- best. I'm torn between West and North, but I solid, have to give a few. solid. Okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII remake, Ghost of Tsushima, okay. Hades, Half Life, Alex, and The Last of Us Part Two. I, I, you know, I said this was pretty easy. I did stumble just for a second. Um, I, it was the the only competition to Ghost of Tsushima for me was Half Life, Alex, because they went and mm-hmm. took it into a VR setting and stuff like that. Ooh. But at the end, I just. Ghost Tsushima, the fact you know the, the everything that they've done, like the the no HUD system is re- the no HUD I- idea and stuff like that. Yeah, understanding everything based on your environment. That's so that's that's phenomenal. That's such yeah. a cool idea. And I, I don't I, think Half Life yeah, Half Life is, is it Alex or Alex? Alex. Alex. Oh, it's I don't Alex think Half Life Alex belongs on any of these lists. Really, it's opinion. a good game. It's a really good right. Half Life game. Like it's a really mm. good Half Life game. And you know it's. It's it is good for Valve because Valve kind of likes to push the envelope in what, like in what they in what games can do or what games can be, and so that was good. They 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 moved the Half Life series along by and stayed modern and by doing it in VR and stuff like that. That being said, that's the only reason I'd give it to it in game direction. But uh, just because you did VR doesn't win any brownie yeah. points yeah. for yeah. me. Agreed. Mm. Um, so yeah, Ghost got Ghost got it for me. Hear me out, Ghost of Tsushima, VR. Oh, you get to be a, be a guy that rips people's heads off. It's cool. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'd love that. Anyways, uh, anybody I'm got gonna, anything I'm gonna to give say on this one? as well. I think it'll, unanimous here. Right? Yeah, yeah. I Agreed. pick Ghost. Un- unanimous. My favorite hacker group. Anyways. All right, and finally, we have game of the year, recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. 
Damn. And we have six to choose from here. <clears throat> oh, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Animal Crossing New Horizon, and The Last of Us Part Two. And this God one's damn. tough, man. This God, one's really this tough. tough. This is for Game of the Year. These are all such yeah, great games. Yeah, those are pretty good this games. This is for Game of the Year. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Jello. I'm going to scrub Doom Eternal out of there. No, I damn. agree. I agree. I don't <laughs> yeah. think... I think no. there's definitely. Uh, it look, it's but... it's good, but I don't think it's like a it's good. Game I don't know. It's a, it's a fun game. A... It's, a it's a very fun good game. game. Is it? Yeah. And and on in that same aspect, as much as I love it, I'm gonna I'm gonna push Animal Crossing New Horizons out of there. Yeah, as well. of course, too. of course. You know, most of that is not original whatsoever. Um, it's cute and fun and quirky, but it's not like For sure. that. Not it a doesn't change anything. Right. And and not not nearly half as many people would have bought it if there wasn't a pandemic. Oh um, my god, get wrecked! I'm, oh I, god. I'm, I'm, no, I love Animal Crossing. I grew up on Animal Crossing, but I, I yeah, mean seriously, same. people played it so much because of the pandemic. Yeah, no, good. And, and, and people people were gonna the, play it anyways, but you know, I I see honestly, hyped, so I think I think the pandemic lends credit to Animal Crossing. I think it actually. I, I'm trying to fi- trying to figure out the words I want to use here, but I think Animal Crossing deserves more of a spot because of because of the impact that it had. No, I least, agree. I agree. And I, I understand what you're saying, though. It, you know, does that impact merit game of the year? Eh, it's, that's up for debate, but... Right. What I'm hearing is Animal Crossing caused coronavirus. We'll never know. <laughs> it caused what? <laughs> Tom Nook! John, you cut out. <laughs> yeah, you cut out. <laughs> It's like Wait, you were censored. What? what you, uh, repeat your last sentence. I said. So what you're saying is is Animal Crossing caused coronavirus? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Coronavirus was uh, oh, the work of Nintendo. <clears throat> coronavirus was invented by Nintendo to sell Animal Crossing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Gates. Pokemon Co- Go, Bill but Gates. just the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pokemon No, don't go. <laughs> so for game of the year. I'm not sure. I, I know. I know. The, I'm the only person who's going to vote this, but but I but I voted Final Fantasy VII because I am a sucker for Final Fantasy games. Yeah. And it oh, and no. it was a and it was a very I don't know for for big fans such as myself it was a it was it it did not disappoint. It actually mm-hmm. I went into that game. Square Enix has fucking sucked for a long time for me, and, <laughs> and they have let me down co- consistently. And so I went into Final Fantasy VII being prepared it's like a to toxic be let relationship. Down. Exactly, really I keep abusive. coming back to them. I keep coming back. Final Fantasy XV came out. I bought it day one. And I I I have many things to say about it. Not a lot of them good. Uh, <laughs> most of them bad. Most of them bad. And so I went into Final Fantasy VII preparing to be disappointed, and I came out just. So fucking happy at the end of it. Titillated. Just thrilled. Titillated. Just so pleased. Titillated. Titillated. Discombobulated. Can we say that? Um, on that's not right. I think so. I mean, I said, I said the, I said the, the c word. <laughs> dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. The, the virus right, so, one. All right. Um, uh, somebody else, give me your opinion. Yes. Give me your opinion. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm torn between ahead, Ghost and Last of Us. I'm while well, you're torn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Don't be too shocked. But I'm. I'm gonna give it to Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, yeah that's, um, I'm agreed. That's I'm exact, I'm exactly for the reason I said like two categories ago. Yep. It was a game that no one expected to be good. Yeah. I agree. It, it came out swinging and showed why. Uh, I would be torn between The Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima, but Last of Us is only half as good because it is The Last of Us. Um. And I will yeah. say, I upon release, that game d- did not get positive reception. It got no, it's because people reception. were fucking babies and they were salty as shit about it. Yeah, for sure. They don't like change. That's what it is. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. What's um, your opinion, Kelvin? I'm torn between Ghost and and Last of Us because Ghost, like, the graphics are gorgeous. The story is good, but like Last of Us had a hell of a fucking story. Crazy. As is, uh, as expected. Yeah. I th- I think oh. if I had to, I, I think I I I'll actually go back. Uh, I'll say for for the story, the narrative of the year, I'll give it to The Last of Us. But game of the year, I'll give it to Ghost of Shima. I think that's wait. Fair. If I wait, what did you give narrative to before? Ghost of Shima because of because of the reason I gave about the story. Oh. About, okay. Or about yeah. about no one knowing what it is. Right. But I think no, that fits better. I think that's I think fair. That a I think that's fair. For, yeah. I, I think, think I think just Ghost is is overall just like fresh. 
Mm-hmm. Than I, I think I think I've given it too many of these categories to not be my game of the year. I agree. Fair enough. I mean, if Ori was on this list, here's the thing. Then... So here's the thing. Um, I legitimately have not played Ghost of Tsushima, and actually don't think I ever will. But the fact of the matter is, just no, just knowing what I know about it, and just I just have so much respect. I have so much respect for it. Like yeah. just, oh, yeah. uh, just everything that I've seen about it from, and then the, the the videos that I've watched on and stuff like that, I have so much utter respect for it. I, I, the only reason I won't play it is just because personally, it doesn't appeal to me personally. Mm. But I, I, if it, I will not be surprised if it wins game of the year from how just yeah phenomenal all around it. It, it was. looks like it can be a game of the year. Like it, I, I could see it on the, yeah. like the new releases and stuff on the labels and stuff. Ghost of Tsushima, mm-hmm. um, but I also do like Sucker Punch. I love Infamous. Yeah, man. I will say to too. Um, we have not shown any love to Hades at any point. In the, oh, no, <laughs> any I never. I don't even know it. what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is a. It is. No it's idea. a roguelike. It's. Uh, but I will it, check it out because it's on a lot of these. It's very well loved, and it, it's if you've ever played Bastion, it's. It I don't keeps know what the, that is either. Mm, it keeps the same flame of Bastion and stuff like Bastion's a phenomenal game as well, too. But no, mm. Hades, I haven't played it, but like, if I'm ever in the mood for a new roguelike, I will probably check it out. But yeah, because Supergiant make great games. But yeah. So it, I so for the most part, every, every the, the moral of the story is play Ghost of Tsushima. It's a great game. <laughs> it is a really good yep. game. If you, if you want to watch a good video series on Ghost <laughs> yeah, of Tsushima... Yeah. Um, don't watch I'll my really video because no, I basically just shit the bed every <laughs> playthrough. <laughs> Respect. No, watch watch Kelvin's videos. They're great. Absolutely. Thanks, man. So was Kelvin. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that I, I, that I, is... I've been process until now. <laughs> um, any so any other uh, let's 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 do this to kind of close it out there. Any other games that you think re- need to be mentioned that weren't maybe we didn't talk about? Any other games that you really enjoyed th- this? Uh, oh, you know, one of them, I think it was a debut game, and I think we skipped this because there weren't a lot of ca- games that we would have recognized, but Phasmophobia actually was on the list for what? debut. Oh, yes. I, I did pick it. I did pick it for I the also category it. it was in. Yeah, I also picked um, it. Yeah, it was for best what cate- debut. What category was it in? Best debut. Uh, what else is on there? Let me look. I it was. I think it was a bunch of games that I don't know if we would have heard of. Best Let me EB look. Though. I, I might know. I know. I know of some smaller games that release. It depends on what they are. If it's, if it's my kind of games I play. Oh my god! There's a games. content creator of the year. Mm-hmm. What? There is. Who's the yeah. options? Don't know any of them. No. Why I voted for Alana. There? I like. I love Alana. Although they're all really. They're all really. They're all really good people there. Who are they? Who are uh, Alana they? Pierce, J. Ann Lopez, Nick Merks, Tim the Tapman, and Valkyrie. Where's Disorderly conduct. I'd give it to I'd give it to Valkyrie, I think. But um, let's go back to debut. Where is it? Just a moment I'm while looking, I find looking, looking. it. Let me just control F. Okay, I got it. I got it. Perfect. There's Carry On, Mortal Shell, Raji, and Ancient Epic, Roki, and Phasmophobia. I've heard of Mortal Shell. I think. Mortal I'm Shell's picking so that last cool. one right there. Yeah. Roki is fantastic. I don't know Raji, and I don't know Mortal Shell. I, okay, here's what I'm gonna say. Faz, Faz Pobi is fun. It, 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 if I had, pl- if I have played, if I played any of the other games on that list, I'm sure it would be my choice over Phasmophobia, though. Karen's sense. fucking great. Mortal yeah. Shell's fucking great. Like Mortal Shell's a very cool. That's a cool fucking concept. I very much enjoy it. Um, but yeah. well, you guys I, get what I'm saying though. Like I like Phasmophobia. It's fun. It's a good concept. But it's it's very in infancy. And it's that is one- an excellent point. Yeah. I, I, I will show some respect though, because it is a it was one person that made that game, but they also did it in Unity. Yeah, that's a labor of love. Right. I agree. That is a For labor sure. of love. But I, I'm sure if I played any of the other games, I there, respect the. Yes, I gave this. Beat it out. I give this to Carrion. Again, I. I was cl- it was between that and, and Phasmophobia, but I'll give it to Phasmophobia because it is fucking... a really cool concept, and I one just... person making a game alone like that is pretty neat. But I just it's, love it's the hustle, so man. much. That hustle. Hey, do you guys th- do you guys think now that I said I think Valkyrie will be the uh, should be the creator of the year? You think she'll come on the um? She'll notice she'll be you on the, on the podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, she, she will. She will. She, you yeah. got her number, secured, John. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I, I think since I said that she should win, she'll come on the podcast. So I also think that Tim the Tatman and Nick Merks and 
A lot of peers. Sh- I think they should all. A lot of please, win. please. A lot all of you're of not them. listening to this, <laughs> but <it's, laughs> absolutely. Just to round it out, uh, going back to what you were saying, Jeremy. Anyone have any games that they think? Yeah, any any games, any mentioned? games that might have. I don't know. Any games that might have made an impact, even if they didn't come out this year. Any games that might have like made an impact on you guys or anything like that. I yeah, because Among, I... Among Us on there and it came out in 2018. What's Just that? Saying. Among Us is on there. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, any games that made an impact for you personally in this year? Um, cars. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I will pour one out for uh, Terraria. Pour one out for Terraria. Oh, yeah. I will literally nice. always. I will literally my always pour, uh, oh, yeah. pour my fucking heart out for Terraria, man, because I fucking love Terraria. It's been ten dollars yeah. for ten years, and as it was four ninety nine the other day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, ex- oh, yeah. <laughs> it goes on sale once a day. Yeah, it goes on sale pretty much every week. <laughs> God, I love Terraria. It's it's one of the best uh, games ever. The only Steam, give the a, only game that I put a fucking a thousand hours into. Gonna um uh, give a big shout out to um my homies over at Slime Rancher. <laughs> <laughs> John's no, new. Um, oh on a real note, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. No game. Yeah. No no game means more than me. More to me than that game. Like it's hands game. down. Um, when did the- that game was also made by one guy, wasn't uh, it? Yeah, Concerned Ape, uh, 2018, I think. Yeah, um, mm. which wasn't that long ago. So no. yeah, that game, uh, phenomenal. And if you want to see a good playthrough, yeah, <laughs> watch Jonathan channel. Uh, um, a game that I thoroughly enjoyed um, was another one that I thoroughly enjoyed uh, was Song of Horror as well too. That was a. Mm. That was a. Why that was that a. Familiar? It's, it's kind of on the smaller end, but it is very fucking fun. No, it, it sounds is, really familiar. It is. Uh, I streamed it for a little bit. I streamed. I streamed it for a while. That was back in February slash March and May, kind of when I was just starting streaming. I think that was the when first I game that I, I didn't know you yet. Okay. Yeah, you didn't know me by then. So no, um, actually, I think I'm even. I'm even April. Um, but one of the things that yeah. I really, it's it's a game that does permadeath very well, and. It's it's a game that is in better just better because of permadeath and everything like that and just it it wasn't necessarily a very scary game but it was a game that was always tense for me and just very and I think that's a good horror game if I if a game can right. keep me on edge and keep me very tense and connected to the characters because because what one of the big things is like I said there's permadeath in it you get five characters and if they die they're died they're gone for the rest of the game. And because of that, you are very connected to your characters for the fa- for the for that for that fact alone, and that's it's just very it's just very nice. It's it's very it's I just enjoyed that game a lot, and it was a good way to kind of start my streaming. Um, streaming. Small shout out to SpongeBob Rehydrated just for existing. Yeah. No, well, some- I'd, I just just quick like Genshin Borderlands Impact. Three. Genshin, well, Genshin Impact always like that game. I could sing. And Raid fun. Shadow Legends. If anyone, Raid, our, our sponsor for this episode. <laughs> a sponsor for this episode. Raid Shadow. Uh, Borderlands Three. Borderlands has been in my life ever since I was a kid. Me too. Um, I think Three was definitely. It was so different. Um, but I think in a really great way, and they. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, they, you can just feel like how much love they put into them. And I fucking love them forever. And I can get hundreds of hours out of them. Uh, but I wanted to put note of on Minecraft just because uh, the resurgence this year. They're actually listening specifically. to Specifically. Yeah. Mojang fair. is yeah. in the audience. I have to agree. The yeah. cave updates I mean, coming out. Bill Gates. Woo! Cave update. Fucking crazy. Uh, just. I don't know, man. I. Pro- probably just so frustrating on just fucking Java because it's Java and how horribly optimized it is. I don't give a shit. So and I don't care if it's bias. John and I talked about this a little bit, and Jello, yeah, I one hundred percent don't mean well, yeah. to yuck your yum, but I've recently realized that I don't really think I enjoy Minecraft as much as I want to. Because- what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Jerry, because John's what always what always happens to me is I will play Minecraft and I'll build a great house and I'll look at the house like it's done. I don't want to play this to game go. anymore. I, don't want to- <laughs> I think that's no. the that is where I get the most enjoyment is building is building in that game and yeah. I just it's 
when think when it comes to things like perhaps like grinding or something like that, which there's a good bit of grinding in Minecraft. Oh yeah. I lose <laughs> you're, I lose you're interest like, in grinding. You're like I'm just building my house, and Jello's like we gotta make a mob grinder. Yeah. And so oh, I, I, I recently yeah. realized that I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, fan. that's that's fine. I mean, Minecraft like from I think it's all about perspective, right? Minecraft it can be advertised so many ways. You can be introduced it into it so many different ways whether that be you know the, the pvp building dungeon diving whatever um but minecraft literally to me like just from how i was introduced to it so young and like mm. how i was introduced to it i know like in my heart how big it can be and you can how much you can mm -hmm. do with it and you, it's in endless in my in my yeah you know, I, in my I head. agree with that I, I agree so, with that and I mean I like, like Jeremy you, like even phase though you might phase. you might not like you know playing in survival and get anything past building a house but you might like playing like on a server PvP or you might like skyblock or you might it's like... also I I also it's also a very good social game for me like it's a good oh, yeah. game just to yeah. hang out with friends and goof around like that's I, where I when we, that's when we did I met noms. Jello and Jeremy yeah yeah when we did Nams that I fucking laughed my ass off oh it was, yeah it was that was so, such a good time it was so fun and i mean like i said i you know well i really uh, i might not like it as much i still have like 700 hours in minecraft i yeah, think oh from playing from playing it for for since 2010 so oh hey oh hey guys yeah. i i renewed the server by the way you did <laughs> you played on it today just a quick funny story. I did that. I um I, I put my card information yeah, on there, crazy. and yeah, so I, I I paid for it or I tried to, and then um it didn't go through at first, and then my bank called me a fraud report, um and then they asked me if I was being forced to make the purchase, and I had to explain what to them that no, the I wasn't being forced to make a purchase from Mojang for use Minecraft PayPal. Realms. Use no, PayPal. Just set up PayPal. You, you have to ask. You have to use a card. You have to put a card on yeah. your oh on, on file the, so it can realms. recharge. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was that's going right. to. But every time my, the fraud department calls me because it's based in Sweden, so then mm -hmm, I had to yep. explain to the man how I was I was just trying to buy a subscription for a block game and I wasn't being forced to make the purchase. <laughs> There's no gun held to my hand, head by a sweet. Hey, yeah, real quick, real quick, let's give a shout out to Cube World, still going strong. No, on these yeah. Years. No. Uh, oh, and uh, Kelvin, I wanted to hear if you had any games that you wanted to shout out. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed playing Mafia. I was gonna say mafia, yeah. That was that, that was, was pretty good. I wasn't expecting much because I never played them, but it was good. I like it. Yeah, it was. It was mm -hmm. especially if you look at the original game, like yeah. what they've done, what they did from that to that. Yeah, it was like crazy. I I really enjoyed that. I I. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> Hell yeah. Honestly, really good. Oh, yes, Jello. Another thing, fucking Left 4 Dead Two with new DLC. And they came back. And me. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. That Holy did happen. Shit. That did happen. I have so many theories about why they did that, man. I am so. Oh, dude, I could go on about that. Because <laughs> they don't feel like making a third game. <laughs> 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 Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite, actually, is is one of my yeah. theories. Motherfucker. Right. Uh, yeah. Let me. T I can. I don't want to talk again. That's another game. Nine hundred and eight yeah, hours, a... baby. Oh, I got. Yeah. I can. I can tell Jeremy. you about Left 4 Dead too. <laughs> Jeremy, we 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 well, yeah, we'll be in touch. Yeah. All right. Well, well, yeah, it's we're gonna we're gonna end we're it gonna off pack here, it up guys. Here. Before we yeah. go, um, my one last shout out for me. A big shout out to Repella Pro Bass Fishing for <laughs> all the hard work they put into the gaming industry. But that about does it. Any last words from you, you, or you? Uh, Jello, can you uh, let us know where we can find you again? Yeah. You could find little old me at www.twitch. TV slash show the fellow. Yes. It's something funny. Because you said WWW. <laughs> that is, uh. They're all laughing at you. It's my. It's. It's. www.twitch.tv slash Jello the fellow. J E L L O T H E F E L L O. What a speller. Yeah, he's, speller. he's pretty good. He's a golden star for me. That's how I won the spelling bees back in my day. I'm going to say next podcast, you guys got a fucking. Beautiful Florida man segment lined up. Oh my god, okay. I'm so excited. Sad eye okay. moments. But yeah, so Jello the Fellow, Shy Guy Verlenis on Twitch. Uh, there's Kelvin at Tall Glass of Nope on YouTube. There's me at John Kutz. And then you can find us three on the Disorderly Conduct channel. Wait, unless you're already here. 
Um, if you are here and you enjoyed this episode of the podcast, please leave a like. It helps out a ton. Hey, real quick, uh, if you, thanks for the thanks for the fifty subscribers. We Woo! did it, boys. Yeah, yeah. We did it. We're actually. 51. I will say I love these three. I've only met the two of them recently, but they're both beautiful, beautiful boys, and I love them dearly. And John Kutz will forever be my 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 mental maid wife. Wow. Always, always yeah. puts motivation in my heart yeah, to create I stuff because I see I'm how hard outfit. he works at it. Yeah, Ooh. looks right in a maid outfit. That's that's all I gotta say. Yeah, John Cuts thanks, sucks. Thanks for the kind words. Yeah, John Cuts does suck. Yeah, shut the fuck up. You're not gonna hear more of those. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, lads.